Hello everyone and welcome back to Yankee Dabbler, where of course every day is a train show. And today we got some brand new items that hopefully will find their way on your layout. We're going to get started with these Atlas Train Man 52 foot Evans gondolas. Check out these puppies, I know you're going to enjoy them. I have a bunch of different colors here. I really like that striking orange color, that NS. We have the US Steel, and if you're a Steelers fan, I bet you like that logo there. I have a whole bunch of different ones here, and the neat thing about these gondolas is I have a whole bunch of different row numbers, so if I want to get a nice, long gondola train, I got that type of stuff happening here for you. Now, these are nice quality cars here. They do have die cast metal wheels, and the neat thing about it is I have a lot of weight to it, so surprisingly, I don't think I would have to uh, weight this down with anything. I think this is going to stay on good track very nicely. Now, the retail value of these gondolas... Is thirty one dollars and ninety five cents. Where we're selling here, Yankee Dabbler for twenty two dollars and ninety nine cents. That's a great deal to get on these cars here, and I know you're really gonna enjoy pulling gondolas on your railroad today. We know a lot of people's favorite land to visit is Boxcar Land, and don't worry, we have some more additions for you to check out. Check out these three different versions of Atlas Boxcars. Let's take a look at these here, and I have here the ARA the nineteen thirty two Boxcars Engineer Hall. Do you remember those? No. Nah. No, you went nah, around. Okay. Around. Well, I have a whole bunch of different road names here. I particularly like that main central there. Bunch of really cool different ones there. The NDM. We got the LAPX and the Central of Georgia. Now, if you want to go for something a little bit more modern, we have these single door box cars here. And I love the New York Central uh, J Green there. And the Northern Pacific, that is a really neat looking one there. Let me slide this over for you to see. And then I have these more modern double door box cars there. I got the TTX and the BNSF. Now, these are all great looking box cars here. I'm going to take a look at these cars here because they have metal couplers, which is always a plus. And they have metal wheels. Actually, all of them have metal wheels. If you take a look up there, I even have some over spray on the box car as well so that's a really cool look to have here on these cars here so let's take a look at some prices here so the double door box cars remember they do have metal wheels and uh, metal couplers they sell for 59.95 but we're selling here in yankee dabbler for 44.99 now for these single door box cars let me bring that up to you i really love this look here so the single door box car which again has metal wheels this one sells for 38.95 but we're selling here in yankee dabbler for 27.99 and then for these ARA 1932 boxcars, again, metal wheels. These sell for $37.95, we're selling them here for $26.56. So everyone needs one, two, or 6,000 boxcars on your railroad. Engineer Hall, how many boxcars do you have? Uh, I got about eight of those. They came in a run of 12. If you don't get those quick, they're going to go. Ooh, all right. And if, you know, be honest with you, the ones that he left, you'll probably have your eye on, right? Exactly. Yeah, so you better get it before Engineer Hall gets us. So get these boxcars rolling like a layout today. So we already took a look at some boxcars. We're looking at some gondolas. Engineer Hall, you think of what I'm thinking? What are we thinking? Uh, let's say on the count of three. Oh. One, two, three. three. Steam Steam locomotives. locomotives. No. Oh. No. What? What do you want to look at? Center partition car. Oh. All right, well, I guess since they're out on the track, we may as well look at them. So these are these Atlas Center Partition flag cars here. Check out these guys. I really enjoyed the look of these cars here. Now, the neat thing about these Center Partition uh, flag cars is they have a die-cast metal body, and there's a lot of detailing in Engineer Hall. Maybe in one of these cars, you can zoom in right here. You can check out the warning labels that are involved there. I mean, check out all that information that's written there. For an HO car to have that, it talks about the safety first, it talks about the warning, uh, the loading and loading procedures. Those are really neat. I really enjoy those. All right, so let's take a look at the rest of the lineup that we have here. I have a bunch of different road names. I have a bunch of different numbers. So if you want a nice, long, flat car train to go on your railroad, I think these definitely fit the bill. Speaking of the bill, these flat cars retail for $52.95, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $36.99. I think definitely, you know, sort of engineer hall discount to save some, but I think definitely if you're looking for a nice high quality center partition flat car, I think this is the way to go here. I really love the design of this, the look of this. There's a lot of good stuff happening here. So come to Yankee Dabbler and get these loaded on your railroad today before they roll away. So, of course, we got to take a look at a diesel locomotive here, and we have these really neat looking ones for Rapido. These are these E8s that I know you're really going to enjoy. I enjoy looking at these. So, the first thing I'm going to say about these engines is they are really 
nicely done and they have a heavy quality to them so if you're looking for something that's lightweight this is not the engine for you but i had the southern look here i have the early antrac scheme with the pointless arrow i have here the new york central with the single striper i have here the union pacific hard to beat that look right there but the Erie Lackawanna is also a very striking look. And then my personal favorite, because of the area we live in, is the Pennsylvania. And this is just a great looking engine. As a matter of fact, this engine still exists, although it doesn't look this way anymore. It's kind of in tired shape and needs to be redone. But this is a really great look there, especially that five stripe Pennsylvania look there. These are really nice looking engines. Now, if you notice, every single one of those locomotives had a little bit of a subtle detail. If you take a look at the top of these roofs here, you're going to discover that I have all the different air tanks that are on top of the Southern. Whereas the Amtrak doesn't have them, the horn is in a different placement. And then I have different various detailing depending on this, the railroad that it is and the design. The Pennsylvania actually has the antennas up top. I mean, that is really neat that Repeater does that. They add a whole bunch of detailing to their locomotives, so it really gives it that extra look. Now, the retail value of these engines is $339.95, but we're selling here at Yankee Dabbler for $299.99. Now, one of my favorite parts about the Repeater engines is taking a listen to them and seeing what Easter eggs they throw in, so let's check it out. So as I said, one of my favorite part about the uh, Rapido engines is all the little Easter eggs they throw in. I don't usually show the manual, but check out the manual of the E8 here. This is a really nice looking booklet, and it tells you all the different things that you're going to find here. So let's check this out. Let's take a look at the engine here. I've not heard these yet, so let's uh, get to be surprised together. Right now. That is really cool. So, of course, that's the city of New Orleans, sung by Johnny Cash. I love that. <laughs> All right, so for you fans of The Simpsons, you know exactly what that scene is. That's a great one. I think that's kind of turned into a gift these days, too. All right, let's check this one out. In your hall, you want to have a hoot nanny? Woohoo! Let's go! Ooh, let's go, man. All right, let's see one more. I guess that's if your engine has a jet on it, I guess. <laughs> All right, so I love those little Easter eggs that they throw into these engines. All right, so let's actually take a look at the train component here. Let's get started. <laughs> Got a little saw that came with it, too. Alright, let's take a listen to the horn, shall we? Tell him? Nice. And I got my train of all the cars to talk about, including a caboose, all aboard. Now arriving on track number one, the city of New Orleans, apparently. Yeah, 
You know, one neat feature before you go to maze, check this out. I didn't notice, but it does have ground lights that are lit up right there. That is a really neat feature to have on these trains. So, this engine, as I said, retails for $339.95, but we're selling here at Yankee Dabbler for $299.95. It is a great deal to get on this engine. I really enjoy these engines. They are really nice, high-quality. Repeater does a good job with their uh, locomotives. Has some neat sound effects to go along with it. So, hurry on and get these E8 pulling trains. Time for us to do our recap here to take a look at all the things that we took a look at. So, if you can see here, minus my caboose, we have these 52-foot Evan Gondolas. We had these 1932 ARA boxcars. We had the single door boxcar and the double door boxcar, along with these center partition flat cars. And of course, they had a whole bunch of these great looking EA locomotives from Rapido. I really enjoyed these locomotives, and I think you need pretty much everything that you saw here on your layout. If you're not subscribed to Engineer Hall's channel, make sure you click that subscribe button to get caught up on all the latest videos that we have. And then hopefully you can watch them at your leisure and really support the channel. We're very close to 4,000 subscribers, so if you're not already subscribed, hit that button so we hit that milestone. I want to thank you very much for tuning into our show to see all the latest and greatest things that we have to showcase. Of course, if there is something that you were looking for that you didn't see, you could check out our website, yankeedabbler.com, and we could see all the latest and greatest things that we have here that we are showcasing for you. Well, I want to give a special shout out to a gentleman named Dominic who came in and brought in this Redding and Norton hat for me. He knows what a big fan I am of the Redding and Norton, so let's check this out here. Oh, this is exciting stuff here. What do you think, Engineer Hall? How do I look? Now bring it down a little bit more. All right. A little bit more in the right. back. You ready? Yeah. What do you think? Look like a brand new conductor. Oh, sweet. Awesome. All aboard. So thanks, Don, for bringing that in. I appreciate that. Ugh, I want to be able to see. All right. So thank you very much. And you know what? Th speaking of the Reading and Orange, let's make that our rail fan video. So, Engineer Hall, do you want to see a steam locomotive on the Reading and Orange? Or do you want to see a diesel on the Reading and Orange? See, I like diesel, but you like steam. Mm -hmm. I got to compromise. Just do both. Yeah. Okay. Well, that sounds good. All right, so we're going to show the Reading 2102 paired up with the Reading and Northern F units that they have there. So I hope you enjoy our Railfan video. All right, so unfortunately, i got to get going here because my phone's actually lighting up. I have all these orders coming in. Uh, one's from EH. Is that you? Yeah, some other guy. All right, so you didn't order three TTX boxcars, five of those Railguns. You didn't order two of the E8s. Oh, yeah. With the TT box, uh, I need six of them in the raw guns. I need about like uh, about seven of them. Wait, uh, well, how would you know that unless this is you? Uh, uh intuition, intuition. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I'll get going here. 844, you want one of those too? Yeah, yeah, I want it from Broadway Limited. How would you know unless this is you? I'm just guessing, man. All right. All right. What's this? You want a cheeseburger and fries? We don't even sell cheeseburgers and fries. They gotta go right on the corner. Oh my goodness. Oh, you want O scale too? Well, this is just crazy. Oh, that's a gift to you. Oh, thanks. 